Hello, people. This is Detroit Miracle. Yes, and indeed. You know that a lot of things are serious. A lot of things are funny. And some are a mixture of both. Yeah, folks. Like, the, if you put some of the seriousness in with some of the funnies, then that makes it funny. <laughs> indeed. So that's a perfect combination of it. And what I'm getting at is, like, people tend to make more out of something than it actually is. Have any of you been watching the WNBA this season? Now, that is professional women's basketball. Now, they got two premier stars in the WNBA two new stars in addition to the existing stars that have been around playing professional basketball as women, being that of women and females. Yeah. And they said the WNBA was on the verge of going broke or losing money for years. So they needed somebody like a female equivalent of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird to come in and revitalize that. Like, um, I mean, they needed a female's equivalent of it. So now we have one in Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Now these are considered to be the cream of the crop of rookies that, that have entered into the WNBA this season so um, so now the revenues have gone up they've skyrocketed like interest is new found now they can actually start paying the women right <laughs> where they weren't able to do that before because the WNBA isn't as popular as the NBA so you know you figure now with women's football at an all-time high and now they're getting brand new premier superstars which are and now appear to be the female equivalents of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark but it seems like now things are like getting ugly with it like they're saying now that Kaylin Clark is being targeted for racial reasons and things like that and biased and saying you know all of that people are jealous of her and angry where well, they saying that the other female ball players are sort of jealous of her and envious because you know she's getting all of this money that they didn't get before and she signed big gym shoe contracts worth tens of millions of dollars and that's good if she's the, the star that's going to help take the WNBA to new heights, you know, that's what, the, so the women should be happy. They should be like, well, now we're getting a major multi-million dollar gym shoe contracts that we weren't getting before because you know if two are getting it, then there's going to be more that receives that and plentiful. But, but nevertheless, you know, in all fairness, some of the women are they don't like every player in their own league because they don't know them and then you know it's rivalries amongst teams so you know they got to have a mutual understanding but they are not all friends yeah just because you are in a professional sports competition on a team that don't necessarily mean that you like all the other teams and like all of their members as long as you get along with the members on your team, then everything is cool and that's how it works. It's too much competition, so you can't love everybody in opposite teams because that will affect your game. You know, you won't play as hard. But if you hate them or dislike them, then you will up your game a bit. And that's how it is. Like, you know, people are playing Caitlin Clark because they're like, hey, since you're so great, let me, you know, test you. Let me test your toughness. Like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were getting knocked around too like that. And Bird was getting into struggles, but he never said it was racially motivated. So it's not about that, that because she's great and she's white, that they're picking on her. 
I'm quite sure that there have been professional white women in basketball contests and skills and uh, teams for countless ages and they weren't receiving unfair treatment because of their race. So it's not like they're, it's a reversal of that. They're not doing that. If they're, and if some give her a cheap shot and appear jealous of her, it might be because of the money that she's making and not because of the race involved. Like you might have women, professional ball players that have been playing seven and eight years now or longer and they haven't gotten the type of money that Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are going to be getting. So it's, it might be jealousy over money, but not race. Like, and there's a lot of good female professional ball players in the professional WNBA that can that can hoop, other than Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Everybody is all of a sudden acting like, oh wow, they're the only players that can play in the WNBA, and nowadays, so so I can understand some of the other teams jealousy amongst the players like you know they're like y'all giving these two rookie chicks all this credit and we we've been playing in this league for years and we kept up the faith we heard we held it down even though we weren't making as much as other people were you know so you know you figure things in but you know i had to weigh in on this caitlin clark situation you know because it's like it sounds stupid like all the players in any contact sport is going to get knocked around. You don't think you think they want to leave Caitlyn Jenner wide open so she can hit like 43 pointers and score like 50, 60 points a game. That's not going to happen. So, you know, they're going to check her up like good. But hey, don't cheap shot her like that's not sports. Don't try to hurt somebody. And that's and no one usually does unless they have a reason to and they feel they do which is stupid in the first place because if somebody hasn't held you up robbed you and put you at a detriment then there's no reason to try to hurt them in any sporting competition you know so but you know those games are meant to be fun but um you know people try to make more out of it than it should be there you know but no one is trying to seriously injure Caitlin Clark or hurt her because of race. If any, then they were a little jealous because of the money, but not because of the race, you know, like that. But it's, but I know it's not, you know, and maybe if she feels that way, then, then somebody has said something like, yeah, they don't like that you're this and that, they don't like that you're white, then I can understand that that is biased. But until like it's real evidence to come out to say like the eyewitnesses have seen and heard stuff or that there's a videotape floating around with that info on it, then I'm not going to believe that she's being targeted solely based on race and not money, success and a increase in status of lifestyles. Yeah, folks. Well. I'd appreciate it if you all would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to my channel, Detroit Miracle. Thank you.